I can't see it. <laughs> Good day. I'm gonna show you how to make this radio control paper plane for under ten dollars. It's inspired from Peter Shreepal's similar guide. However, my method uses a cheaper quadcopter and removes the need to do any soldering so that anyone can make this with basic tools and stuff you've just got lying around the house. You're gonna need a cheap nano quadcopter. I got this one from Kogan for nine bucks. You'll also need some form of lightweight rigid material like foam board or the foam from a takeout container. Cardboard might work as well. Um, you'll also need a sharp knife, a screwdriver, sticky tape and hot glue. If you don't have hot glue, super glue might work, but I can't guarantee that. Oh, and you'll need a sheet of paper to make the plane. First, we're going to take apart and steal the guts we need from the drone. Take off the protection if your drone has any, don't need that stuff. Undo the screws. Remove the props. Remember which prop goes where. Um, take a photo beforehand or place the props on the side whilst maintaining their order. Take note of the orientation of the quadcopter as well. On this one, the power switch is located at the back, so you can tell from that. Open up the case. On this one, there are tabs to unclip on each arm before you can pull the top open. After undoing the tabs, you can just lift it up. Next, we have to release the motors from their incarceration. Use your thumb to push them out. After they have come out a bit, you can pull them up and out. Be careful not to damage the wires. Once the motors are out, you can remove the main board as well. You should have something that looks like this. We have to remove the front motors. Use your knife to cut off the wires, being careful not to damage anything else. Make sure you remove the front motors after figuring out the orientation of the quadcopter. Put the propellers back on, but onto the opposite sides, so we're putting the left rear propeller on the right rear motor, and the right rear propeller on the left rear motor. It should look like this. Put the motor assembly aside and get your piece of foam or takeout tray, and mark it with the dimensions shown in the image above. Cut out your 2x5cm and 2x2cm piece. and cut a notch into the 2 by 2 centimeter piece, around 1 centimeter long. If you're using foam with paper, you can peel off the paper or just leave it. I left mine on the part with the marking so I can see it. Apply a line of hot glue, then glue the small piece onto the large piece as shown, trying to keep it at 90 degrees, but it doesn't have to be exact. Deepen the notch we cut so that it's flush with the base of the larger piece. Apply hot glue to the end of your foam piece and stick one of the motors on as shown and let it set. Watch ahead before you do this to make sure that you do it in the correct orientation. Stick on the other motor in the same manner. Use some hot glue to secure the main board as well, being careful not to get the power switch or charger connector like I have. It should look like this. Put that aside and get your standard sheet of A4 paper. Put that aside and get your sheet of paper. <clears throat> We're making a standard dart style paper plane with a few modifications. You probably know how to fold a paper plane, but I'll show you anyway. 
After every fold, run a solid object over the edge to strengthen the fold. At this step, use small pieces of tape to hold down the edges of each side as shown. This keeps the wings uniform and will help the plane fly in a straight line. Once you're done, your plane should look like this. Use scissors to cut small flaps into the wings as shown. We're going to use these as like a makeshift elevator so that we can trim how the plane flies later. Bend them a little bit upwards, but we'll probably need to adjust this later. Find the center mass of your plane. It'll be around where the line from the wings meet. Attach the motor arrangement to the plane by inserting the plane into the slit as shown. Check the plane's balance and if it feels right, use some hot glue to secure things. That's all there is to the plane. Charge it up and have a go at flying it. The up-down control of the quadcopter is the throttle. And the left to right stick will steer it. The plane does not have an elevator, so increasing the throttle will make it gain altitude, whilst reducing speed will let it glide down. Your plane will probably need a few adjustments to the back tabs before it flies well. It does take some time to learn to fly this, so don't be disheartened if it isn't perfect at first. I kind of suck at flying, so you'll probably do better.